It's nine o'clock at night. It's been two days since I camped here last, but I couldn't wait to get back out to this spot again and camp with the dog. I have a lot of goodies and a lot of ideas to help improve this semi-permanent winter camp. Bear with me for about two seconds here while I get the tent set up and the fire lit, and I'll let you in on what's happening. I got a bunch of kindling ready, but before I get my fire going, I, this is one of the goodies I brought. This is like a fire mat to go underneath it, and it's relatively uh, hefty in size pretty big size so I want to put it down before I get the uh, the old fire lit so let's just do that now I don't know if I'll have to how much finagling this is going to take but it'll make it nice and neat at least finagling that's how she goes all right, not too shabby. I like it, kind of neat, kind of neat. A little bit more finagling, but you don't need to see all that. We'll, uh, we'll get this bad boy rock in here. There's Wolfie, gracing us with his presence once again. Hey, big guy, what do you think? He's like, I don't care, I don't care. So this didn't smoke the other day over the top, which I was concerned about, which is nice. All in all, I really had no complaints about the stove. So that mat is an upgrade. This is also an upgrade, just a little power bank. I'm gonna charge my head, um, sorry, my flashlight with it right now. So I can have some light. It also throws a light. It has a, a flashlight on it. I've got another big flashlight here that needs to be charged. And then my cameras and stuff. So that's good enough for a while. And then when it needs to be replaced, I can bring it home and charge it up. Or I have solar panels for it as well. We'll see how long this thing stays out here for though. One of the other big improvements is gonna be this here. I think assembling it was fine, but getting it back together was the pain in the butt. I might have, might have come on to something here. Yelling at it and spitting and screaming wasn't working, so I'm gonna try a little ingenuity, a little smarts. Now, I know what you're thinking. Joe, you don't come by those, honestly. Okay, we got them. We got it, everything's good. Now we just gotta figure out how to get this in there. Actually, it's got rounded bottom, so I'm not too concerned about the bottom of the tent. It's unbelievable how mild it is for almost December. It's gonna be December 1st in a few days here. It's wild. But anyway. Get this all open and get caught in there. So the cot's gonna do a couple things, right? It's gonna give me uh, a spot where I can sit, a spot where I can lay down without bending my knees too much and as an old man, I can appreciate that. And then also it's gonna keep me warmer because I'm up higher and that's where the hot air is going to be, right? Like uh, from, the, from the wood stove. I'm almost wasting the hot air at ground level. It still does something, 100%, but all the warmth is up higher. And that might be a good thing, it might be a bad thing, I might be too warm tonight. Maybe I'll have to take it easy on the fire or maybe even sleep on the ground tonight, depending. But again, once that cold weather sets in, that winter, that real, talking about that real winter boy, you know, that real like nipple cutting glass. I've been listening to a lot of Theo Vaughn, can you tell? A lot of, a lot of Theo Vaughn. Anyways, real cold winter, I'm gonna appreciate it. Um, yeah, there's a mosquito. That's pretty wild, buddy. Didn't you get the memo? All right.
Who knows? Maybe I'll bring some cardboard to put under the feet after a while, but for now, this is totally fine. Except for I might be in the drapes of the inner tent right now. I gotta get figured out this freaking inner tent, how to fix it. But anyways, that's fine. Seems high in the middle. Oh man, look at a princess in here. Look at a princess in her freaking whatever the heck those beds are called. Princess beds. Princess in the princess dress. Everybody loves a princess best. Everyone loves a princess best. Oh, flat lay. Oh, yeah. Oh, I can appreciate that. Oh, man. Oh, my ribs are still jacked, folks. Ugh. Yeah, this is good. This is a good call. Okay. Joe Big Happy with this one. Everyone loves the princess best. <laughs> you good? Whoopee. I got a few more goodies, but I think I'll save that for tomorrow morning. It's easier than trying to film in depth at night here in the dark. Another useful thing about this cot, I got my Kevin Callan book, I keep reading that out here. Another useful thing about the cot, I can put stuff that I'm not gonna use uh, right away or whatever underneath it, as opposed to it being wasted space, right, where I would be laying before. So I can put all this stuff. Even stuff I need, like my toque, we readily available right under my head there. I got a box full of goodies here for tomorrow. That can all just go under there. That's pretty handy, actually. And uh, I'm going to make up Wolfie's uh, spot, too, a little bit better here. Oh, come on. There we go, a little crack. Well, Wolfie's over here puffing, up, huffing and puffing up a storm. I tried to tell him there's nothing going on, but I came over to pet him. And I'm sitting with him, and there is something going on. I don't know what it is, but... Certainly uh, heard something walking. I don't know how big it is or not. That's how close I can get with my four wheeler. It's pretty handy. I don't know what it is, big guy. I got hungry. I'm cooking up some bacons. You know, I might as well. Stove's rocking. I got some for tomorrow morning as well, so I just took a few little pieces. I'll give Wolfie one. I'll eat three. And, and then I think we'll call it a night, you know? Gotta love the cast iron. Gotta love the cast iron. So many tiny camper songs in my hair. Mm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Midnight snack. Bonus. Sorry, buddy. I'll give you some tomorrow morning. Who am I joking? Here you go. Here you go. morning. It got a lot colder last night than it did the other night. It's a uh, little bit of condensation in here, but um, anyways, it's uh, just after 7. I'm going to get this fire cracking and uh, get some breakfast going and stuff. Hey, buddy. Slept pretty good. This thing must have came out during the night, but it slept good. Stayed warm. Uh, been up for a little bit, just been reading but okay we're getting up i just heard an owl he heard it too I hear it looks for you who cooks for you
Just did that hole, buddy. Just did that hole. No. Stay. Just wait. Go in your crate. Wolfie, crate. Crate. Yes. Go. Crate. Crate. Yes. Good boy. Just wait a second, okay, man? Pad here I've been standing on and I have to pee and stuff it's pretty handy I might get a little like ground sheet blanket type thing for over here for me anyway I get dressed man freaking man he's going to town out there pretty chilled where's my pantaloons out here so we can go chase that owl and do his business. Young buck. Young pup. Oh. Wait. Well, it iced up on the zippers. It must have got cold. Alright, come on, wolf. Come on, good boy. Good boy. Oh. oh. Big old stretches. Big old stretches. Go get yourself a drink. <laughs> Good boy. Oh. Yeah, it's a little chilly. Everything got... Uh, Crunchy, made some crunchy last night. Oh man, I cut up a bunch of shavings again last night so I don't have to go search for any kind of kindling or birch bark or anything, but I do have to get some, ah, some fuel. night <laughs> it's soaked oh, oh that was silly I was so warm last night I didn't need it and I wasn't even wearing it hi good boy did you sleep good you have a good sleepies oh do you have a good sleeps the big guy the big guy hey oh fluffy butt wolfy von fluffy pants wolfy von fluffy pants yeah, you want some bacon? Oh. Gonna do a few projects today. Some chores as well. Spend the day out here for sure. Okay. Ooh. far, hey? That's a good boy. <laughs> Alright, 
We're about done. Grease on the bit on the bag will never hurt anybody. You know? Bacon bagel grease, bagel bacon grease, bagel. Okey doke. Looking good. Wolfie, here's a little big guy. Good boy. Sit. Just sit. Sit. Hey, sit. Sit. Good sit. So very defiant. Mmm. The bacon grease on the bagel is very nice. Will be set. Good set. Good boy. Well, my water's not quite boiled just yet. I barely had it on there. The pan took up most of the room, so I'll make myself up a tea as well. And then we'll start to work. This dude's been licking this pan for 45 minutes. No, for about five minutes, but still. Going to town, it was a little hot when he started, I think. Yeah, he's got it down. This pot of water is very uh, full. It's a big pot, so it's taking a while to boil. I figured maybe I will try this out. It's big enough to, yeah, perfect. That might go a little bit quicker now. The sun is on the come up. It's gonna come up. Soon it's gonna come up. Hopefully, you got it. I think it's all clean now. You probably got it clean. <laughs> I'm gonna be feeding the fire all day long as I go, just keeping it nice cherry in there so I don't ever have to work too hard. At getting it going again or keeping it going all day long. So this little gear loft rack deal doesn't need to be huge, but I want to keep it out of the way of where I'm walking. And I'm bare, never walked in between here. I actually cleaned this up. There was all branches coming out here. This is what, where I was parking the sled. So I figured this is as good a spot as any, and it's going to give me enough space too. So we'll get the. Uh, I want to use this thick rope. For it so it's nice and sturdy and I might actually just wrap it around a couple times and get um, a couple different levels like come around boom and then down so I can get more uh, usage of the space go boom and then down I love my terminology go boom and then down okay Let's start high up actually you know what Tie a bowl in or a jolin in it first if I can remember how. So let's go a loop, another loop that's twisted, and then this is go like that and through. Does that make sense? Yeah, I think so. And then I'll be able to untie that. Yeah, no, that's not right. Try again. Here we go. Loop. Another loop. Through that loop twice. 
There we go. And then I'll be able to untie that when I want to relatively easily. And what this does is give me just like a loop, a loop through so I don't have to tie it off on both sides, just loop it through on one. <laughs> That's my rope. Give me my rope. <laughs> we do this all the way down. Maybe we make a little something. Small windbreak type thing above. We'll see. Let's see how she goes. I don't really want to cut it, to be honest with you. It's really nice rope. So if I can do this and keep it wolfy. <laughs> Keep it still in one piece and reuse it, that'll be a bonus. Wolfie, what are you doing? You're helping or what? Hey? Let go. Wolfie, off. Off. It's like caught in his toes. Dude, come on. there bud. Alright, we won't go any lower. Don't forget me. I wonder if I could use this, you could probably, if it's strong enough, tight enough, you could probably use it as a ladder to be honest. Or I could, I could anyway. <laughs> it's not a flex. It's not a flex. Alright, well, let's see. Three things to hang up on this freaking massive hangy dealy, hangy dealy scale, massive scale hangy dealy. Oh, look at that. Yeah, that's it. It is actually kind of handy, but things just go up easily like that. down here by himself while I was out there doing whatever, cutting up firewood. Oh, he's such a good boy, man. Really good traits. Really good traits. I'm uh, sitting on the end, that doesn't work. Okay, anyways, I'm gonna tie up a little uh, wood store out there. I could store my wood in here, but again, I'm assuming I'm gonna have a visitor by the way of Tosh and Cooper. So, the more room in here, the better for those guys. So, to share it with those guys. So we're gonna tie up a wood store outside.
I heard that too, actually. had originally tied off to this tree here and have recently found out it's dead and ready to fall over so I retied my awning up way back there and it's better now it's above head height this one's still in the way but we'll figure that out Let's see if we can get rid of this tree though well, okay well she's coming down regardless opposite way I want it, so that's good. We uh, just got back from a hike. We got lucky. We got ourselves a bird. So I'm going to clean that guy up and share it with Wolf for a lunch slash early supper. I got other food too, but we're going to cook this guy up. You just, just give me a second. Wolfie, leave it. Here. You just gotta let me clean it first, man. We're gone for like an hour and a half, probably. Good hike. Let's see how this is going. Yeah, and there's still a bunch of embers in there. So, that's a bonus. I threw some hardwood in beforehand. Made a couple pieces on there just to keep it going nice. This thing holds the coals, man. It holds the coals good. Hey, bud. Yeah, you're gonna, gonna let that get out of your sight, aren't you? Okay. I'm gonna need a splitting block here too. That's something to do while I'm out here. I think I'm gonna spend the night out here. Second night out here uh, tonight. I got enough food and stuff. And with that grouse, Wolfie's got enough food now too. So we should be all right. Squared away, and you can eat some morsels, bud. Some morsels. Hey, okay. you want that? There you are, buddy. How about it? How's that working out for you?
<laughs> Man, I love this dog. He's <laughs> a freaking nut. Yep. Looking like a bush chicken. I really do enjoy this. I know that it's turned some people off, but I'm sorry. I, this is new to me. I've been wanting to do it for a really, really, really long time. And now I finally have the no, some a little bit of knowledge uh, <clears throat> and means to do it. So I'm doing it. And I'm happy about it. So I'm going to have this one. This one's a little bit messed up. I think I might have got it in the body a little bit on this side. Uh, so anyways, it's a bigger piece. I'm going to give it to Wolfie. There's some bone in it still. I knew that going in. I was going to give that side to Wolfie. So I'll eat this side. This one does not need to be cooked as long as mine does. So I'm going to take it out for a wolf and let it chill now. Let it cool down. <coughs> Good boy. Wolfie, come. Come here. Here. Come. How's that? How's that half cooked food? Hey, relax, homie. I called you over here so I can give it to you. Sit. Wolf, sit. Free. You okay? It wasn't much bone, just a tiny little piece. And I only cooked it, it's still rubbery, barely cooked. Anyways, mine's ready, and uh, I'm gonna eat that. It's a nice day. I can't believe how freaking warm it is. I'm having a good time out here. I needed this. This is something uh, quite rejuvenating and new to me. Can't keep doing the same stuff all the time. He's exactly what I wanted out of a dog. He's pretty aloof. Like he just does his own thing. And he's sturdy. Um, he's not reactive. He eats whatever I give him for scraps. And that's, that's a good bush dog to me. He's resilient to the cold. And he's still only like six months old. He's a little pig headed sometimes, but 90% of the time he listens and he always comes back. Can't really ask for much more than that. I'm not the greatest owner in the world either. I know that, I, I get it. It's hard, we got a family and kids and stuff to do all the time, but it's a responsibility if you're gonna get a dog, right? Oh, she's cooked. Wow, she's cooked. Okay, let's go. Come on, sir. Oh, it's hot, it's hot, it's hot. Mmm. Put a little bit of steak spice on there. On point, boy. Goofy one, fluffy boy. I don't, uh, there's not much left, you know? There's nothing left. There's absolutely nothing left. Like, nope, well, there's a couple feathers. I'm glad you made good work of that, bud. Hey, what a pretty feather. I'm just gonna, okay, make sure you get that one too. Weeks not wanting on, I guess. Well, I'm nearly done that. Just a few odds and ends on the ends. Odds and ends on the end pieces. And uh, yeah, I can start stacking firewood now. Honestly, I'm getting warm, man. Quite warm. I'm gonna lose this wool at least for a few minutes while I'm working around here. Huh. Oh yeah, this rack is actually uh, not too shabby. Nothing to sneeze at. Achoo. Looking for morsels still? He wasn't that enough. Wasn't that enough. Oh, was a good boy. 
I'm not gonna let you give me too many kisses right now on account of the rock gross, but maybe later if your player card's right, you know. there. So I've got lots of space down here and lots of uh, room for firewood. I'm going to put a third row behind as well. Another log that I can stack. Third row and then up high. I'll be able to get a decent amount in here I'm sure. All right, keep at it. I'm trying to get a different selection of like smaller stuff, hardwood, softwood. Mix it up. I might split some stuff in there too. We'll see. We'll take a break from doing that. Still got to get a bunch more firewood, but uh, I want to make a spot out here, a clear spot where I can have an outdoor fire because I have a really cool grill that I haven't tried out yet that I want to try out tonight. I don't want to have it too close to the camp because of sparks and working area. So I think back here is not a bad call. I just got to clear it up a bit. Which is okay because I can always use this stuff for other things. This might be a good chopping block. I can put it as a side wind block on the uh, uh, wood storage. Okay, no chopping block. <laughs> Just a wind block on the wood storage. <laughs> She's rotted out. All right. Well, I'm not mad at that. Not cold. So this is called a Zaldoran Adventure Awaits Campfire Grill. Zaldoran.com. Zero affiliation. I think you just sent it to me uh, quite a while ago now. To be honest with you, I don't even know the guy. I checked it out at home. Never used it, but got the gist of it. So I think you go boom. Then this goes on here, like that. And then this you can move the grate once it's already warm. You can move it like this. That's at the highest point there. Yeah, we'll see. See how she goes. Might want to do this again though. Highest possible is there. Flames are here, or coals even up at that high. That's pretty high for coals. That's not bad. And then you can obviously adjust it the whole way down. And I don't know if this stays on or not. Yeah, it can sit there, I guess. It's got a little hole here, so you can do a little, you know, fidget spin if you get bored or whatever. My curling heritage. <laughs> okay, that's a decent sized one. Hope you carry this for me, bro. I absolutely love a leather stacked handle. If I ever get another custom knife, that's what it'll be, the handle material. So again, dual purpose, you know, clean this up for pokies 
and gathering some super ah, dry kindling and tinder. It's lighter than an axe. And the axe really isn't necessary for this, as you can see. So it's just easier to use this. Way more efficient. Really good brush clearer as well. That's dense wood too. Tell him to open a safe. Okay, well that wasn't so bad. Oh crap. Mm, 21, can you do something for me? Do your thing, 21, do your thing. There was a snowball earlier. Maybe that was the last video. I can't remember. They all kind of blend together. Yeah. That's a big one. That is a big one for sure. Do your thing, 21. All right. Okay, well, it's getting there. This is a freaking massive rock fire pit. Let's give you an example of why I'm always stressing about cutting the branches off trees where you're walking around. How does that look for you? It's 90% clear. It's not on the pupil. I think it's just a little bit watery from getting the stick, stick in it. But anyway, can't always wear glasses. That's a good option too, but you can't always do it, especially now. It's getting dark, I wouldn't be able to see nothing. Um, just gotta be careful. I was turning around, calling Wolfie and walking at the same time. It was just my, my fault. But anyway, <whistles> rub some dirt on it. It'll be all right. So much firewood readily available. It's nice. Very, very nice. Very handy. Get a big old rip roar going, get a good bed of coals, all this hardwood uh, coals, and then we will cook up our supper on the grill. You know, switch it up a bit, right? Can't keep doing the same thing forever. That's a theme for this video. Can't keep doing the same thing forever, you know? Yeah, harm? Well, this fire's rip roaring. I got a couple pieces of cedar here to split up. This is super old, aged, uh, really dried seasoned cedar. You can see the top of it here. It's got like moss on it. So I think I'll split these down and make some kindling for my wood pile and for tomorrow morning. As much wood on this as possible because I want a bunch of coals to cook on. A little, little bonfire. Tell me that. Fire of the gods, baby. <laughs> Channeling my inner, inner Theo Vaughn. Can you tell? Talking about that. <laughs> I remember, man, we had this one guy. Okay, that's that Thuya Occidentalis, boy. That Eastern White Cedar, that's what I'm talking about. Now the reason I want to use cedar for kindling and not fuel is because it's very light, very easy to split, very straight grain, and pretty flammable. You can, it, it, it's rot resistant. So even this old ass piece, very seasoned, is still extremely dry on the inside. 
It smells phenomenal too. Bunch of reasons. That's why people use it for building as well. Just because it's rot resistant. It'll last a lot longer even than hardwood, which is wild to think of, but just the properties it has, right? Losing light. Keep track of stuff now. Like Wolfie. He's <laughs> freaking KO'd. This is almost ready to be hooked on. Just don't want so much flameage. Well, I just fed Wolfie some of his fish that I brought, or all of the fish I brought for him. So he's had grouse, uh, bacon, fish, what else? Dog food, I'm sure other things today. But these are spicy Italian sausages. So both of these bad boys are for me. Don't quote me on that. I very well may give him a bite. I'm a softie, you know? Softy at heart. Let those cook up there as high as possible. And try to get them nice and smoked from this maple and oak. You know what? Oh, how it feels so real. Wine here with no one here. Only you. And you can hear me. Well, buy him. Count the sausage on the grill. Snacks to peppers, yes, it is. I'll eat them first, yes, I will. Peace to resist all. Oh, yeah. Mmm. The spiciness is coming through. Woo! Spicy. Oh no. Spicy is all get out. A little leaf litter on this one. No harm, no foul. Oh. This is a local pepper. I think they called it. Local yellow mixed colored pepper. Well, it's uh, it's snowing or something. I imagine it's snow. Too cold to rain. Looks like snow. Cool. Keep it up. Bring it on. Oh, Snowy Joe, you know. No, would you? Oh, she's starting to come down now. Happy to see it. It's about time. This guy's KO. He has been for a while. I didn't even tell him to come in. He just came in. Made himself at home, which is awesome. I'm a good boy. Starting to understand the deal. I'm going to shut this. So we don't get too much snow in there. She certainly is snowing. So comfortable in here. Look how comfy it is. I think that grate on the bottom gives it a lot of airflow. Well, I have spent the last hour going through footage on my camera and deleting what I didn't need because I filled up a whole 128 gig card, which is hard for me to do even on a week long trip with these past two videos. So anyway, I'm gonna go to bed. It's nice and warm here. I'll see you guys in the morning. I, gotta, I have to conserve memory card as well. So yeah, see you in the morning. Good morning. Morning, Wolfie. <laughs> uh, it's almost seven. I'm gonna get this fire started. Slept real well. I passed out early. Slept all night till about 5:30. Just been laying here reading. So I'm gonna. Uh... It's not cold. Like, got no 
socks on, no shoes on, I was walking around, went and grabbed some firewood. I have my pan full of shavings. Prior preparation prevents piss poor performance. A coach. Socks up here drying. And those up there drying as well. I left the door open a little bit there. So Wolf can get in and out when he wants. I really like the fact that I can trust him. So just go wander and he'll come back and I'm not worried about it. I really, really like that. Just licking the grill. <laughs> I don't gotta worry about you, eh? Just find out where the food remnants are and that's where you'll be. I didn't even see him when I came out. I thought he was a pile of snow. What you got? What you got? Here you go, boy. Camp's looking good, Wolf. What do you think? A couple more improvements. Be ready for the snow. Man, it's still tons of coals. The fire, I didn't any add to it at all last night after you saw, after I was done cooking or whatever. It broke off uh, <clears throat> some like. Oh, sorry about that. Camera cut out on me again. I'm gonna take this as a sign to go. My memory card is done. It's all full and I should probably maybe go check that out. Get that checked out by someone who knows more than I do. Anyways, having a lot of fun out here. I'm going to come back soon. Uh, this guy's having a lot of fun too, and I hope you're enjoying it.